guys in this video we will learn how to add stripe checkout payment gateway in laravel application so let's get started with an example and let's see it okay so first of all i already downloaded fresh laravel application over here you can see that and simple page i created with the get route like uh, order summary and there is a 200 dollar user need to pay it okay so when user will click on mac payment then it should be redirected to the stripe checkout page and he will add his card details and click on it then it should be success response on our website okay so let me go here and quickly show you what uh, i did uh, right now so you can see that simply created stripe get route and stripe controller over here and if i go here into the controller you can see that simply i created a one view okay and there is a blade file over here and simple design with html bootstrap okay simply save it now what i will do i will simply go to the stripe uh, api reference over here i will add to the link description okay and you can see that there is a php so i will scroll down and we need to go for checkout method so if i go checkout session you can see that create checkout okay so you can see that there is already given okay the code of that okay so let me go and first of all what i will do when i click over here it should be redirect to another route so i will simply go here and first of all i will create one route over here okay so i will say route get and i will simply say stripe payment and then i will say stripe controller colon colon class and then i will simply say payment okay and give also the name so i will simply say stripe payment and simply save it okay and now let me go to the controller so i will go to the controller and i will create payment method over here okay simply save it and now let me go here into the documentation i will simply copy this okay and simply paste it over here okay so you can see that here we need to pass the secret okay so what i will do i will simply go to the developer account you can see here yeah i need to add the password over here you can see that at four, okay and click on it just uh, one moment login you can see that here is already created account so i will create new account so i will say simply laravel the two okay and i selected country as a australia for now and simply i will create it okay and it will take some time to create okay okay it's uh, taking time to create account okay now you can see that it's created an account and here you can see that there is a developer so if i click on the developer okay and there is a api keys so i will click on that api keys and let's wait a moment you can see that there is a publishable key but we are not going to use for checkout so i will simply take the secret so i will copy this key and simply go to the env file over here first and strive underscore secret so i will simply paste it because you know later in development mode and the production website you can use it separately okay and simply i will just remove this one and i will simply say env and i will simply paste it so that secret is coming over here okay and before use this stripe client we need to install the php library for the composer package so i will simply copy i will go to the github account okay and simply copy this composer package to install and simply go and paste it over here i will also add this link to the description so you can download this php composer library for stripe okay it will take some time to download okay let's wait a moment yeah it's installed and now let me make it clear and run it again the project okay yeah now you can see that we already copy this code from here so you can see that there is a success url that means once payment will be success then it should redirect over here so what i will do i will create another route and provide the proper url for that so i will create another route that's called success and here i will be create success method and payment dot success okay simply save it okay and i will copy this and i will add over here that's called success url okay and i will simply call route paste it okay simply save it and this success url i will pass over here okay now let me go and paste it okay now that's it now let me go to again documentation and if you go here there is a success url if i go down okay and there is already documentation for that 
okay and let me yeah success url and if i click on it like customize the success url and you can see over here there is a two option we already given first option but second option that pass checkout session so that way in the return we can get all the details from the session id so we also need to pass this session id and this so let us when it's redirect on success then we can get the details so i will simply go here and concat this option okay simply yeah paste it over here okay now what happened once i will create here because we already create route so i will create success method over here and that's called success okay so in the when redirect to the success route then it will be written session id and based on the session id we can get the details of the payment object like that success completed or what is the status of the payment object okay and now what we will do the next line items okay you can see that there is a directly defined the price okay but we are not going to price because we are going only for one time payment okay because user will order it so what i will do i will simply go here into the documentation and let me scroll you can see that price and price data you can use one of them so i will use price data because we are going to do one time okay so simply i will say price data and there is an array element so i will remove this one okay and and quantity also only one time so one time we are going to payment so that's why and the next there is a currency so inside the prim price data we will pass currency what is the currency so i will simply say right now usd whatever your currency you can pass over here and next you can see that product or product data so we are going to say product data okay and also same thing there is an array and inside the product data there is a name field that's required so i will simply say name and i will say like for shoes order okay so just name what is your order and simply the next we need to pass if i scroll down and that is call if i scroll down over here okay this is the height for the product data okay so you can see here okay and now let me go there is no recurring so i will skip it and scroll you need amount okay so simply copy this because you need wise what is the amount because if i go here and i will take the price from the request because when i go here i will add here one href okay and here i will be give route simply and that's call stripe payment okay so when user will click on this button it should redirect on strike amount and here i will be passed that's called price and i will simply pass for now 200 okay later you can change it when you click on it it redirect over here and i will get from there so i will simply say request price so it will be a dynamic price will be add okay by default you have passed the 200 then it just charge two dollars but you need to in 200 so that means it take 200 dollar from there okay so simply save it okay and now our setup is done for quantity one and you need amount will be 200 dollar and here we are getting response okay save it and here i will simply say return redirect i will simply say response and i will get if you go to the documentation they already given the url over here into the response they will give the response like this way okay you can see here and we can directly get url over here so simply save it okay and now payment will be done that it's come over here so i will simply say first i will show you how it looks so let me go here and i will simply say request all okay simply save it okay and now let me go and show you that okay so if i go and refresh it you can see that make payment if i click on it it will redirect on the payment and then you can see that it's also redirect on stripe checkout here I need to add email address so I will simply say savani at the red gmail.com then I will add dummy card detail that's a 4242 that's a dummy card detail from the stripe you can also use another card from uh, stripe uh, stripe documentation so here I will say 28 and csv will be 123 and here are the savani and click on pay okay so it's taking time to 
take the payment okay and once it's success you can see that it's redirect on payment success our route and there is a session id they already sent us they sent us and using this session id we will retrieve the current status of that payment okay so right now if i go to the developer account and go to the transaction first let me show you that one you can see that 200 is done customer is savani at the gmail.com so payment is done but status we are not able to get it so if i go here and there is a retrieve session method and you can see that same thing client object we need to do so i will simply copy this and simply paste it over here and here you can see that there is a method called checkout sessions retrieve okay so simply copy this and i will remove the rest all and i will directly take request session underscore id from the request object okay and then i will simply say response and here let me show you the response as well response and simply save it okay and now let me show you that okay let me do it again the stripe okay and click on mac payment you can see that it's redirect on checkout okay and now again i will say like hardik at the red gmail.com and i will use 4242 that dummy card from the stripe to five and here also i will add hardik savani and click on pay let's wait a moment okay and yeah it's redirect and you can see that we also retrieve the session okay and you can see that mode was the payment and the status is completed over here so you can check from the status like if it's completed then you can also redirect back to the page okay so i will simply go here and i will also give the name to this so first of all i will say name stripe and i will redirect again on the same uh, form so uh, right now but you can also create success uh, page and redirect on it so i will say return redirect and i will say route that we created and i will also add with success and i will say payment successfully okay simply save it and into the blade file simply it's again redirect over here so i will simply say if session success is there and i will say and session then it will be one div and that's called alert alert success and here i will be simply say dollar value okay simply save it okay and now let me go and again check so i will say stripe here click on mac payment okay and yeah and i will say simply hardik at the rate gmail.com and i will simply say 424242 dummy card and then 1225 and i will say hardik savani simply paid okay and let's wait a moment okay it will redirect back to the again order page you can see that and with the proper message payment successfully and let me go here and uh, let me show you into the dashboard and click on the transaction if i click on click over here yeah let's wait a moment yeah you you can see that there is a three payment right now two payment with the hardik at the gmail.com so you can understand how easily you can create how you can easily implement the stripe checkout payment gateway and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos guys thank you so much for watching